Hello students, welcome to Hiba Max Study Time. In the video, we have English Memory Poem 1 Stopping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening. Question answers in and pack. Poem order book exercise. Read the following lines and answer the following questions. In the first question, paranga. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. So, this is the line. This is the question. Whom does he refers to? So, in the line, he is the one who 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 what does he refers to would answer anna? he refers to the owner of the woods question padikkum bodhe na sollirna he appadina solradhu yara kurikidna andha neriya mara irundhuchillaya adoda owner dhaan kurikidu second question paakla identify the season with these lines so enna season nu kuripidranga na filled up with snow appadina irukka snow enna season la irukum winter season so it is winter season up in the question pakla. second question paranga my little horse must think it cure to stop without a farmhouse near so rendu line enna solrudha enoda horse vandu yosikla ye inga inga nikranga or farmhouse kuda pakkathula illa appra na ye inga nikran appdi solla horse nanikku nu solvanga illaya so first question enna who is the speaker yaar na poet da nama speaker why should the horse think it cure? Now already told you that there is no farm house in the house. Pick out the rhyming words. There are two rhyming words in the two lines. First question is who is the speaker? Answer is the poet Robert Frost is the speaker. Second question is why should the horse think it cure? Answer is there is no farm house near and it is night time. The woods are dark, so the horse might think it's strange to stop here. So, I explain to you. There is a place where there is a night time. There is a place where there is a dark place. Why do you think there is a place where there is a place where there is a horse? The third question is to pick out the rhyming words. Rhyming words are a word sound. And the last or end word is cure near. Then we have a word in the middle of the word. Cure and near the rhyming words. Third question paranga. He gives his hardness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. So in the red line line is all wrong now. And the good one there are the bell and shake bunny in get a top of the car being cake the ma. First question paranga. Whom does he refers in these lines? So yaar bell one the shake one wrong a horse. So he refers to the horse. Second question paranga. Why does he give his hardness bells a shake. This is the shake. And the poet is saying, I am going to get up here. So, that is the English letter. He shakes the hardness bell as if he is asking the poet whether there was any mistake in stopping at the wrong place. Third question. How does the horse communicate with the poet? Poet could a horse have to communicate panache by shaking his hardness bells in lingla and the bell a shake panni poet or a horse one the communicate panache fourth question paranga the woods are lovely dark and deep but I have promises to keep so in the woods alam paka nalla alaha irukku ana yenakki no nariya velikal irukkun sol ranga first question paranga how are the woods Woods are very lovely, dark and dense. They are very irritated and very adhertied. Second question is, who does I refers to? I refers to the poet Robert Frost. What are the promises the speaker is talking about? Speaker is the promise that he is talking about. He is the one who is the one. Duties and responsibilities in life are referred to as promises. Fifth question paranga and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. First question why the poet has used the same line twice rind what he has kanga and explain miles to go before I sleep. First question paranga why the poet has used the same line twice. So rind what he has 
போயட் வந்து ரொம்ப உறுதியாக சொல்கிறாங்க நான் இறந்து போக முன்னாடி எனக்குன்னு முடிக்க வேண்டிய வேலைகளும் கடமைகளும் ஜாஸ்தியாகவே இருக்குன்னு அதனால தான் இன் ஆர்டர் டு எம்ஃபசைஸ் த ஃபேக்ட் தட் ஹீ ஹேஸ் டு ஃபுல்ஃபில் ஹிஸ் டியூட்டிஸ் அண்ட் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டிஸ் பிஃபோர் ஹிஸ் டெத் த போயட் ஹேஸ் யூஸ்டு த சேம் லைன் ட்வைஸ்ட் அதனால தான் அவர் ரெண்டு வாட்டி சொல்லியிருக்காங்க அழுத்தமாக சொல்லியிருக்காங்க அப்படின்ட்டு அர்த்தம் செகண்ட் கொஷின் என்னென்னு பார்க்கலாம் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் மைல்ஸ் டு கோ பிஃபோர் ஐ ஸ்லீப் ஸோ மைல்ஸ் டு கோ பிஃபோர் ஐ ஸ்லீப்னால் என்ன அப்படின்னு கேட்குறாங்க மைல்ஸ் டு கோ ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு லீடிங் த ரெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் லைஃப் அன்டில் ஹிஸ் டெத் நான் இறக்கிற வரைக்கும் உள்ள காலத்தை மைல்ஸ் டு கோ அப்படின்னு ரெஃபர் பண்ணுறாங்க எல்லாருக்குமே கொஸ்டின் ஆன்சர்ஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆயிருக்கும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் நீங்களும் படித்து பாருங்கள் இந்த வீடியோ பிடிச்சிருந்தால் ஒரு லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் மறக்காமல் நம்ம சேனலை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் நம்ம ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் சர்க்கிளுக்கும் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் தேங